Sid Zweigbaum down on the field post game with Mustangs head coach Ed Hoddle. Coach, all sorts of records today. You guys set in a 65 to 7 win. Most yards, most points, largest margin of victory. But the game didn't really start out looking like it was going to get to that point. What kind of transpired midway through the second quarter and all the way into the fourth quarter, and you guys really got rolling? Well, I, you know, I think we were opportunistic a little bit, took advantage of some turnovers, and and really got some momentum. Our, you know, our kids did a nice job on the sideline, uh, staying juiced up and being into the ball game. And you know, I think a, one of the bigger plays of the game was the blocked field goal there at the end of the half. You know, that allowed us to take some significant momentum in at halftime, and and the guys settled into the game plan. You know, they they do a really nice job scheming off. Offensively, so um, you know, it took us a little bit to get adjusted to it, and uh, the guys did a really nice job. What is it like preparing for a team that that runs a lot of similar stuff that you guys run in terms of the spread run, you know, run pass option? Uh, what is it like for you guys preparing for them, and, and how you anticipate them preparing for you? Well, it makes it, it makes it a little bit easier, honestly. Um, you, you know, because we can run our offense against our defense to, to some degree, and some of the things they do are, are significantly different than what we see. But um, you, you know, it makes it a little bit easier when you see a similar style offense. There's a point in the second quarter. It's ten to seven. You guys have a fourth and seven, kind of in no man's land, I believe, at like the 36 yard line. Um, I mean, were you guys going for it all the way just because of where you were on the field? And obviously, if you if you miss that there, you know, the game could have you know not gotten us away from them as much as it did. Yeah, you, you know, you, you try to base decisions on field position, and the, the wind was definitely a factor today. So that really weighed heavily into a lot of the field position type of decisions that were made in game. So, you know, fortunately, we were able to stay ahead of field position most of the day. And, you know, aside from the, the second to last drive, I don't think we were backed up once today, which makes decision making very easy for me. Uh, you had three different running backs get a lot of carries uh, it, throughout the game. You had Hill and Massey late. They had some good runs. Austin had a lot of good plays at the beginning of the game. What did you learn kind of about these three running backs today? Well, they're, you know, they're all progressing at a very, very rapid pace, which is exciting to see, you know, particularly in practice. But then when you have an opportunity to get them some varsity snaps, um, it, it just kind of cements what you think you're seeing in practice. And, and those guys, you know, a couple of them are – one's a sophomore, one's a freshman, one's a junior. So we've got – they've got a lot of football left in them. And, it, and, it, and it's exciting looking for the future with those three guys. Does Austin add a little bit of a different dimension in terms of – you guys haven't really thrown to the running backs a ton over the years, but you threw to them a lot today. Today, and he certainly has that that more of a receiving back uh, type of body. Absolutely, and as a matter of fact, you know we moved him two and a half weeks ago from from a slot receiver, you know, back into the backfield. Um, and he is a very dynamic player and a player that you know we want to look to continue to expand his role. Now, with all these points, Dan Williams, you know, 396 yards, five more touchdown passes. You know, he just keeps breaking his own records and records. But an interesting day for the kicker. Uh, Ian, he kicked the ball. He had 19 points, which you said is a school record. I think he, I counted he kicked the ball 23 times. Does a kicker ever get tired at that point or, or a sore leg or, or anything like that? Yeah, you know, he's done a fantastic job. Um, you know, we recruited him. He's, he's a local kid from Westminster, um, you, you know, crazy smart crazy analytical but not emotional you know he, there's no spot that's too big for him and and to this point you know he's done a remarkable job for a freshman coming in and you know filling in for a kicker that was pretty good for three years in Tim Sternfeld so um, you know Tim's working with him every day and, and and helping him to get better and better and better and you know the sky's the limit for Ian and we're super excited that he's here and um, you know just continues to do a great job and his, his short onside kick type kick was perfect too. It was, it was. I, I don't know how we don't get that one. I, I, I'm excited to see that on film to kind of see what happened on that. But, um, you know, that was something that they gave us and we, we saw, we'd seen it on film and something that we, you know, we want to take advantage of if, if the situation pre presented itself. Coach, two weeks to get ready for Lebanon Valley. What do you guys uh, need to do to get ready for them? Always a tough place to play. They've always got a, you know, pretty loud home crowd. Get healthy. You know, we don't have guys that are out for the year, but we've got a lot of guys that are banged up. So for us, it's, uh, you know, it's about getting some quality reps in in practice, but also getting some guys some much needed rest. All right, coach, congratulations. We'll see you in like three weeks for another home game. Thank you. All right, Mustangs head coach Ed Hoddle Stevenson wins it 65 to 7.